It is a great morning to be with you and exciting to, to begin a new study in the book of Judges. Uh, you know, in one regard, going to the book of Judges is just continuing right where we left off with uh, the book of Joshua. Uh, but we've come to a, 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 a point of change, a point of a decision for the people of Israel. If you remember, we ended Joshua and we read that everybody obeyed God as long as the, the generation of Joshua lived. But as soon as all Joshua and the leaders and the men and women who were with him passed, the next generation struggled. And we're going to read a few verses from chapter 1 to help us set the stage of what the book of Joshua is going to look like. So join me in Judges chapter 1. We're going to start in verse 1 and then hop around just a little bit. After the death of Joshua, the Israelites asked the Lord, Who of us is to go up first to fight against the Canaanites? And the Lord answered, Judah shall go up. I have given the land into their hands. Moving to, to verse 19, we read, The Lord was with the men of Judah. They took possession of the hill country, but they were unable to drive the people from the plains because they had chariots fixed with iron. As Moses has, had promised, Hebron was given to Caleb, who drove from it the three sons of Anak. The Benjamites, however, did not drive out the Jebusites, who were living in Jerusalem to this day, uh, living there with the Benjamites. And then verse 28. When, the Israelites, when Israel became strong, they pressed the Canaanites into forced labor, but never drove them out completely. Now the stage is set. Uh, we've, we've already looked at in the book of Joshua, that the, the total conquest of the land was not yet complete, but the victory was looked forward to by God's promises. And now as we begin, Judges, we see some of God's people begin to obey, begin to move forward. Judah uh, moves forward in their process, their steps, to take the rest of the land. We even see uh, that, that, that Caleb makes progress, the Benjamites make progress. But there's a problem the progress stalls. Why didn't Judah drive out the people from the plains? They did it from the hill country, but why did they stop at the plains? In verse 19, because they had chariots fitted with iron. What's the issue? The people of Israel began to look at the difficulty. They began to focus on the the. The, the instruments of war that these Canaanites had, they began to focus on the difficulty of the task and not the power of God who gave them a promise. And what happens? They fail. It's just like when Peter was getting out of the boat to follow Jesus. As long as his eyes were focused on Jesus, he walked on the water. But when his eyes focused on the storms, he sank to the bottom. And verse 28 really tells us the issue, the difficulty, the struggle that we're going to walk through in the book of Judges, covering something like 350 years of Israelite history. The Israelites enslaved the Canaanites, but did not destroy them as God had commanded them. Why did God want them, the people to be removed? So that Israel would not turn to their false gods. That Israel would not fall into idolatry and forget God. That Israel would not lose sight of the one who protects them, gives them victory, and gives them their home. And this is the struggle that's going to move forward through the book of Judges. Israel losing sight of God and falling into sin and facing judgment. Does it look familiar to you? All of us are susceptible when we lose sight of God and focus on the mess around us, we fall. Sometimes God has to discipline us to bring us back. Father, we love you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the example of these men and women who've gone before us. 
I pray that as we walk through Judges, we would be convicted and compelled to follow the positive examples, to follow those men and women who said yes to you, who focused their eyes on you and not on the difficulty and their surroundings. Help us to not fall into the sin of Israel, of, of losing sight and falling away, losing sight and falling away. Let us walk faithfully, keep our eyes and our hearts focused on you, and trust you for the victory in every situation. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed uh, rest of the day. Look forward to seeing you right back here again tomorrow as we continue in the book of Judges. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.